Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited today. I'm going to show you this interlocking granny stitch. You know, I love a granny square. So now we're gonna make a hat. For this project, I'm gonna be using the Big Twist Soft Touch. Each, each skein is 270 yards or 247 meters, 5.29 ounces or 150 grams. Um, calls for <clears throat> a 5.5 millimeter knitting needle or a 5.5 um, meter crochet hook and eye. And it's a worsted weight for medium. There's Cook's hair right there. Uh, and it is machine wash uh, and tumble dry. Do not iron. Uh, and so for this project, I'm using these four colors. Um, <clears throat> I am uh, going to be using an eye hook uh, you'll need a little pair of scissors, uh, some, a needle to sew in your ends, and if you want a pom-pom, we might, we might not, we'll see. And I have my cup of coffee, yum, yum, and blasting in the background for my enjoyment only, I've got some Robert DeLong, lots of chair dancing going on for this project. You ready? Let's get busy. <clears throat> I'm going to start with the rose, um going to do rose and then lavender and then the blue and then the pink is the order that I'm going to be working in y'all do what you want like always we're gonna start with a slipknot camera I, I'm not in the mood for this today and you will wrap your yarn around your finger and then I will take the loop off of my finger where it crisscrosses I'm gonna grab that tail push it up into that loop and then pull down and there is a slip knot on a hook easy peasy don't pay attention to my band-aid I've been working out in the yard and I don't think anybody wants to see my blister okay so from our slip knot that's on our hook we are going to chain four one two three and four just like that there's four chains and then we are going to take our hook with our last chain on our hook and then slip that into our first chain and grab our yarn and pull it through that chain and then also pull it through the loop that's on our hook and that is going to make our loop that we're going to work out of. And where you are here after your loop, grab your yarn and pull up a loop and that's going to be a chain one and so for this we are going to do 18 double crochet stitches in this center ring that we just made so to make your double crochet you're going to do a yarn over your hook and then put your hook into that middle of the loop that you just made and grab your yarn pull it through that loop now you've got three loops on your hook grab your yarn and pull through two of those loops and then grab your yarn and pull through two more of those loops leaving one loop on your hook and that's a double crochet let's do it again yarn over and go into the middle of that ring you just made grab your yarn pull it up and we now have three loops on our hook grab your yarn and pull through two and then grab your yarn and pull through two and we have two double crochet and we're going to go with a yarn over back into the center pull up a loop three loops on our hook yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two. Now we have three double crochets in our ring. We need a total of 18. So I'm going to meet you around here at this side when I'm finishing up on my 18th double crochet. And as you work, you're going to have to pull your work around this ring because you're going to be packing a lot in there. But you can do it. So I'll meet you here at the end when I'm finishing up my 18th double crochet stitch. You got this. Push that over, yarn over, go into the middle, 
three loops on my hook. Grab a yarn, pull through two, grab a yarn, pull through two. That makes 18. And then what I'm going to do is slip stitch into my first stitch. I'm going to put my hook into that first stitch, grab my yarn, pull it through that stitch, and then pull that yarn through the stitch that's on my hook. And there we've done round one. We packed a lot in there, guess what? We're gonna keep packing. We're gonna keep doing it. So chain one, just like that. And then in this very first stitch, right here, we're gonna put two double crochets. So put your hook into that first stitch and do a double crochet. And then put your hook back into that same and do a double crochet. You, you should have double crochets down. I shouldn't have to tell you about them. You got this. And we're gonna continue to do that and we're gonna put two double crochets into each stitch all the way around because we're still increasing. So I'm gonna put my hook into that next stitch and do a double crochet and then put my hook back into that same stitch and do a double crochet. And the same in my next stitch. I'm gonna do a double crochet and then I'm gonna put another double crochet in that same stitch. I'm gonna work that all the way around. Two double crochets per stitch all the way around. You got this and I'm going to meet you at the end of this row. Here I am in my last stitch. So I'm going to put two double crochets in there. And then I'm going to end this round with a slip stitch. So I'm going to find my my first double crochet post and the first stitch to the right of that is my first stitch. Put my hook in there, grab my yarn and pull it through and then grab my yarn and pull it through. Yee! There you go. And so there I have increased another round here by putting two double crochets in each stitch. I want to change my color. So to change my color, I'm going to pull my loop up so I don't lose it. And if it goes anywhere, it's not a big deal to fix it. Cut myself a tail, get my next color, which is the lavender, and I'm just going to drape it across my finger. Um, and then grab my, grab my yarn that, with my hook and pull it through the yarn that's on my hook and then pull that tail down nice and flush and then what we did was we just treated the yarn that was to loop in our hook to start our next row. So now technically this is my my last hoop loop that I just finished my row with and then drop my tail. Oh, find my work. There we go. Okay, and I'm going to chain one and then in this same space that we just, the same stitch right here, um, the first stitch, we're going to work a double crochet. This yarn's a little slick. Um, so we're gonna put one double crochet in that very first stitch right there where we changed our, our color. One double crochet. In the next stitch, we're going to put two double crochets. And we are going to continue to increase the crown of our hat by alternating in each stitch one double crochet and two double crochets in the next stitch. and then one double crochet in the next stitch and two double crochets in the next stitch. So it's one, two, one, two, one, two, all the way around. You keep going 
and I'm going to meet you over here. Okay, coming up here on the end of my round, and I have one double crochet in this stitch and two double crochets in my last stitch. And then we are going to connect this round with a slip stitch. So find my stitch right here. That is the first stitch of my round. I'm going to slip stitch into that. And then I'm going to chain one. And there is our next round. We're going to continue increasing. And so I'm going to put a double crochet in my very first stitch right here. And then I'm going to put a double crochet in my next stitch. I'm going to put two double crochets in my next stitch one double crochet in the next two stitches two double crochets in the next stitch so we're still increasing so this time instead of doing one double crochet alternating one double crochet in one stitch, two double crochets in the next. We're doing one double crochet in two stitches and two double crochets in the third. So one double crochet in the next stitch, one double crochet in the next stitch, two double crochets in the third stitch. And that's your pattern single single double single single double or I should say not single crochet that's confusing don't listen to me one double crochet in two stitches two double crochet in the third stitch and that's your repeat pattern and I will see you at the end okay here I'm coming up on the end of my my round and doing my last repeat so one double crochet in this stitch and one double crochet in the next stitch and then two double crochets in my last stitch of this round one and two and then we're going to in this round with a slip stitch like we do and I'm going to change my colors again so let's slip stitch this round together pull up that loop and then I'm going to grab a loop and chain one we are going to see how ruffly it is that's good because that's we want it to be a slouchy top all right so we chained one and we're going to go back into that very first stitch right here that we just changed color in. We're going to put one double crochet in there. And put a one double crochet in the next two stitches. So there's one and two. So that's a total of one double crochet in three stitches. So one, two, three. In our fourth stitch, we're going to put two double crochets. And there's our increase. Just like that. So one double crochet in three stitches. One, two, three two double crochets in the fourth stitch. Let's do it again. That's our repeat all the way around. So one double crochet, one double crochet in the next stitch, one double crochet in the next stitch, two double crochets in that fourth stitch. And that's how we're going to increase this row. All right, you got this. Continue that pattern all the way around. 
and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, here we are coming up on the end of this round. And so I have one, one double crochet and cooks. I, I really am not playing today. One double crochet in the next <clears throat> three stitches and then finishing off with two double crochets in the final stitch of this round. And then at the end of this round, like with all of them, we will slip stitch this together. That's our chain one. There's our post and there's the stitch directly to the right of that post. So don't get don't get these two confused. You're going to go into this one next to the post because you go into the first stitch and do that slip stitch and then chain one. Now our crown is big enough. Our crown is six inches or better. Where did my thing go? Okay. So our crown is, we're at six inches or better. So we're good. So let's move into our pattern. So to start our pattern, we are going to do one double crochet in this first stitch here. And then two double crochets in the next stitch. And then skip three stitches, one, two, three, and in the fourth stitch, put three double crochets. One, two, maybe, two, and three. Like a granny square, right? Three stitches. Skip three stitches, one, two, three. In the fourth stitch, put three double crochets. One, two, and three. And skip three stitches, one, two, three, and three double crochets in the fourth stitch. And that's your pattern all the way around until we get to the other or the end of this row and I will meet you there. Okay, one, two, three. Skip those three in the fourth. We put three double crochets. One, two, three. Skip three, one, two, three. Oh look, we're at the end. There we are, that was our last one. So when we skip our three, one, two, three, that takes us back to where we started. We just need to slip stitch this row uh, together. So put your hook into that first stitch and slip stitch that together and done. All right, so there is our granny stitch three Three, du three double crochets in a cluster, skipping three, three double crochets. Let me change my color again. Okay, now we're gonna start the interlocking part of our interlocked granny stitch. And so, like always, we're gonna put a double crochet right here in our first stitch that we just where we just changed our color because that is our seam of our hat right here in this mess. So that's our seam. So we did a double crochet in that very first space, not where we joined together. We've got this other post mess here, but that's, that's where we changed our color. Here's our seam, this first one. And we're gonna put that double crochet there. Then we're going to skip 
these, this group here, we'll skip this group now, and in this chain space here, we'll put one double crochet in the chain space, then we're going to do a double crochet in, here's your, here's your chain space, and right below that chain space are three stitches. One, two, three. That's the three stitches that we skipped. We are going to put a double crochet in that middle stitch. So we yarn over, put our hook into that stitch that's below the chain space. Come in behind, grab your yarn, pull it through that stitch, and then bring your loop up where it's going to be a little long, but you want it to be kind of consistent in size, and then finish your double crochet. That is what interlocks it with the row below. Like that. And then we're going to put another double crochet in that chain space. And to do that, you're going to need to kind of pull your work apart and find the chain space. So you're not putting it in this top stitch, you're not putting it in this bottom stitch, but you're putting it in the chain space. And that's your interlocking part. So there's your three stitches for your granny stitch, and then there's your three stitches for your interlocking. Let's do that again. I'm gonna skip these three here and go into this chain space, yarn over, go into the chain space, pull up a double crochet, yarn over, go into that middle stitch, here's your chain space, and then here's the three stitches below that chain space. Put your hook into that middle stitch, pull up a loop, do a double crochet, and then pull your work apart here so you're back in that chain space, and put another double crochet in that chain space. And that's how we interlock. I'm going to do it one more time. We'll try to get a little closer because maybe you can see better. Oh, yeah, that's good. Oh, yeah, now if I can stay in frame, let's try it one more time. So here's your chain space. So yarn over, put a double crochet in that chain space. And then here is your, here's your chain space. And then below it are the three stitches that we skipped. Here's your middle stitch right here. So do a double crochet in that middle stitch. So you put your hook in the middle stitch, come up behind your work, and grab your yarn, pull it through that stitch, pull up that loop, a little tall, and then finish your double crochet. And then in the chain space, which is right here, not below it, not above it, but right here in the middle, do one more, one more double crochet to finish the interlocking portion of our stitch, like this. You keep going around and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, we're coming up on the end of this row. So I'll put a double crochet in that chain space, a double crochet in the middle stitch from below that chain space, a double crochet in the chain space, and here in our last chain space, it's a little bit different. We're going to put a double crochet in that chain space. We're going to put a double crochet in the middle stitch that's below that chain space. 
just like we did before. And instead of putting another double crochet in that chain space, that first double crochet that we did to start our row is our last double crochet. So after we put a double crochet in that middle stitch from below, we slip stitch into that first double crochet, double crochet that we did. And that ends this row. Gotta find that. And once we start to sew and we pull all of our stitches tight, then it just blends in there like it's supposed to. Just like that. Yeah. Now we have established our pattern, which is the group of three and then the group of three. Um, and so it just, it now it just gets easier because you're just working in chain spaces. So now that we've put our row, uh, slip stitch our row together, go ahead and chain one, put a double crochet in your first stitch here. Two double crochets in this chain space. And there's your first group of three double crochets together for your next row. Skip this and then move over into your next chain space. I put three double crochet. Skip here, go over into your next chain space, three double crochet into that chain space. And you're going to do this all the way around. Skip this, go into your next chain space, three double crochet. And I'll meet you at the end of this round. Skip this, go into your next group or next chain space with three double crochets. Okay, we coming up on the end of this row and I'm putting my final group of three double crochets into this last chain space and then I will attach this row together with a slip stitch in that first stitch that I made. And that gives me a chain space here to work into and I'm going to change my color. Okay, I've changed out my color and so I need to chain one and then I need to put a double crochet like we do in all of our rows right here in this very first stitch. And now with our first double crochet here, which is going to be our last stitch, remember, right, we're going to skip over into this first chain space and do a double crochet in the chain space and then do a double crochet in the one, two, and pull that over a little bit. It's hidden in there in that group. So there's one, two, and three. A double crochet in that middle stitch there and then another double crochet in that chain space. Then we're going to skip this group and go into our next chain space. Put a double crochet in the chain space itself. Put a double crochet in the middle stitch below that chain space. And 
and a double crochet in that chain space. And that's what you're going to do for this round. That is the gist of this hat until we get to the brim. So you're going to do one row of three double crochets in the chain space and then another row of doing three double crochets, the interlocking double crochets in the chain space by putting one in the chain space, one in the middle stitch below the chain space, and then the third in the chain space, and that's it. So you're gonna alternate. So after this row, we'll come back around and we'll put three double crochet in each of the chain spaces. And then we'll come around with the next row and we'll do our three interlocking in the chain spaces. And you're gonna do that for a total of 15 rows. The 15 rows does not count our crown. The 15 rows start where we start our pattern, which is the first row is the group of three. The second row was the interlocking. The third row was the groups of three. Now the fourth row is the interlocking. So we need a total of 15 rows of our pattern. So we are on row four, we need 11 more rows. And so I will meet you at the end of that 15th row when we get ready to slip stitch that together and I'll show you how we're gonna make our headband. <gasps> okay, I'm coming up on my last cluster of three on my last row of the pattern of the hat before we start the brim. I'm going to close out with a slip stitch right here and a chain one. So now I have 15 rows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yay! Now here's where we start our headband for our hat. So, so let's measure our headband or the bottom of our hat. See where we are and we're at, we're at 20 inches. So I don't want to do any decreasing. So um, to do our brim, brim headband, I already chained up one. And so I'm going to do a single crochet in each stitch around this hat. I'm going to go back into that same space that I just did my chain one out of where I connected. I'm going to put my hook in that stitch, grab my yarn, pull it up. I got two loops on my hook and grab my yarn and pull through both and that's a single crochet. And I'm going to do that in every single stitch all the way around this row. And I'm going to do this for a total of five rows. So one single crochet in each stitch all the way around this hat until we get back to where we started. And we're gonna measure again because chances are it may be just a little bit smaller because the single crochet is even less forgiving than the stitch that we did. So go around, do a single crochet in each stitch and I will meet you at the end of this row. Okay, here we are at the end of our round of a single crochet and like always I'm going to end with a slip stitch in the first stitch that I made I'm going to measure my hat again whoops 
There we are. And so it's a t it's 20, and that's where I want it to be, 20 inches. So this is perfect. And so now, what you'll need to do is four more rounds of single crochet to finish out your brim. And so since you've done the slip stitch, slip stitch, wow, it's a good talking today. Um, go ahead and chain one, go back into that first stitch and start your single crochet and go around again for four more rows. And I'm gonna meet you at the end of that fourth row, which will be a total of five. All right, I'm finishing up my fifth row. I'm real excited. This is a fun, fun pattern. And these colors are just so pretty together. I'm gonna slip stitch this together. Just like that. There is my brim. And now to end this, I'm going to chain two, one and two, because that's going to make an awesome slip knot. I'm going to trim my yarn and now pull that tail through and then I'm going to grab the end of that, that second chain there, and I'm going to pull down with my thumb while I pull up right on there and that's gonna make that super super great knot right there and that's look oh, oh how cute is this how cute is this <laughs> how cute just a cute little slouchy hat and then all we have left to do is so in our ends, because, you know, I change color every two seconds, uh, I like to punish myself with all of this sewing. And that's what, that's what we need our needles for. So we can tie off our ends and then sew in, uh, sew in our ends. And then we have the option from there, do we want to add a pom-pom? Do you want, do you have a pom-pom? Look how cute that one's gonna be on there. Um, do you have anything to decorate the brim with? Do you have any buttons or beads or anything to sew in? Um, I like to, I like to I like to sew in my my little signature buttons on the fronts of my hat. <gasps> so look what we did today! Look how cute! Look how cute this turned out and it's slouchy and you don't have to deal with all of that back and forth to make that rib band and then work your way to the top and decrease and decrease and decrease sew it together to me this is so much faster oh it's just so cute it's so cute and there's my button and it goes great with my hair <laughs> i'm not mad about it at all this is what we did today Hey, if you like these kind of videos, please like and subscribe. My channel is loaded with content. Just a, a smattering of my life. Everything from crochet to jewelry making to tie-dye. I'll make sure I put this in a playlist so it's easier for you to find. And remember, be peaceful. Be kind. It's important. Try something new today. Who knows? You might like it. I'll talk to you soon. I love my hat. I love my hat. I love my hat.